I don't understand why I'm having cat poop for breakfast. It's so intense. <laughs> I'm going to put the cup in the microwave to heat it up. Hi, my name's Tom, I'm from the UK. And I'm Jeff, I'm from the US. And today we are gonna be swapping expensive, luxury, fancy foods. We are getting bougie today. A lot of the fanciest, most expensive foods that you can try are imported or are, are from other countries as well. So this is gonna be an international roundup of luxury, fabulous foods. We're giving each other menus that are based on what's popular in our own countries, but not everything that Tom is gonna be eating today is specifically American. Not everything I'm eating today is specifically British. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not our fault that the rest of the world is just fancier than us. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so Jeff, for breakfast, you are gonna be having a mangalitsa sausage and bacon sandwich with civet cat coffee. Kopi Luwak coffee is an Indonesian coffee, which is special because it has already been eaten and digested through a cat. What? There is a cat called a civet cat, which apparently has these, this amazing skill to hunt out the best, ripest coffee beans. And what happens is the cat eats the coffee, digests it, poops it out, and then they find the coffee beans stuck in the cat poop, clean it, and then now it's in a bag and waiting for you to drink it. <laughs> no! It has been produced by free range civet cats and has been fully cleaned. So you've got the green to go, give it a try. For lunch, you were gonna be having afternoon tea and for dinner, you were gonna be having a beef wellington. It sounds a bit like a bougie sausage roll maybe? Yeah, kind of. I suppose that's a way of looking at it. If you just like a really, really big, really expensive sausage roll. Mmm. Tom, for breakfast, you're gonna have crab cake, Benedict. As someone that was born and raised in Maryland, I couldn't let you not have some sort of crab cake. For lunch, you're gonna have some caviar nachos, along with some sushi. To me, this is like classic American. Taking something a bit lowbrow, like a bar snack, but you add caviar and you make it a really, really, really expensive dish. Again, I know sushi isn't necessarily American, but it's very popular in LA. There are a lot of very, very, very bougie and expensive sushi restaurants. And for dinner, you're gonna have lobster risotto. It's a lot of first times for me here today, I'm excited. As you should be. I have my bacon and sausage, gonna make a bougie breakfast sandwich. Um, this is like very nicely packaged, looks very expensive. I even love like the gold plated background. Uh, and these look like some of the nicest sausages I've honestly ever seen. I'm not always the best at making poached eggs. I actually find them quite difficult to do, but I followed a recipe that said like, add a little bit of vinegar and like swirl the water. And I think I got it down. Although this coffee has been digested by a wild animal and then picked up through their feces, hopefully it will still give me the kick that I need. I also, just for sort of camp value, added some chives and some crayfish on top. So, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, that looks kind of fancy. Here we are, bougie breakfast sandwich with some fancy sausages and bacon. Um, this is supposed to be like the Kobe beef of the pork world. This is breakfast. It is a crab cake with a poached egg on top. Ooh, oh yeah, there we go. Bougie breakfast sandwich, let's go. Cheers. So, I'm not gonna lie, I don't taste the difference. I know it's good, oh my God. Also, I'm really proud of myself with this poached egg. Like, I think I nailed it. It is really, really good, but I wouldn't necessarily say that this was like a supreme cut of pork. Um, maybe my taste buds just aren't refined enough. The only thing that I don't like about this is the fact that it's like maybe slightly rich. I think if you just rolled out of bed, this might be kind of a lot. Maybe this is more of like a brunch item, perhaps. Our cat is literally staring at me so intently. It's like... Now it's time for the coffee. Um, this is such a mind over matter thing. I love coffee. I drink a lot of coffee every single day. However, this coffee has been digested by a wild animal. Oh, it's like, it's, this has been feced. Is that a word? This has been defecated. 
Every time I go to drink it, I just think about how this has been found in poop. I'm like trying really hard to like it. It's a very good flavor of coffee and it feels like a good strength of coffee. It's not like overly bitter, um, uh, but I just continue to imagine it being in poop, to be honest. Overall, this breakfast uh, is a lot more expensive than it probably needs to be. Uh, you can get this meal for quite cheap, but since we're living bougie for the day, Pinkies up. Cheers. So it's time for lunch. I have ordered sushi, so that is on the way. And now I have to make the caviar nachos. Okay, it's tea time. I'm very excited. I feel like I should be wearing something more um, sophisticated. Should I go change? I think I'm gonna change. When having afternoon tea, one must look presentable. Tortilla chips. You know what, we're just gonna use the whole bag, apparently. Great. So I've been sent these amazing boxes to have afternoon tea at home. First up, we have scones with jam. I'm American, so sorry. Scones with jam and Cornish clotted cream. Um, then we also have some sandwiches. As expected, mini finger sandwiches with cucumbers. I don't know why that's high end. Those are probably the cheapest things you can get at the grocery store, but there must be a tradition to it, so I'm very excited. Never used mozzarella for nachos before, so this is definitely a bit different, a bit bougie, a bit unusual. You know what, I know this is supposed to be fancy, but it doesn't feel that fancy when you're making it. So now I'm gonna put this under the grill for three to five minutes until it's melted. It wouldn't be afternoon tea without actual tea. So I have the tea bag right here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cup and I'm going to fill up my mug with water. And then I'm going to put the cup in the microwave to heat it up for a certain amount of- <laughs> You thought I was gonna do it. You all wanted to laugh at me. Guess what? I'm an American and I have a kettle. I know you're ready to come for me in the comments, but I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, update. Mozzarella has melted, looking kind of fabulous. Now I'm gonna put tomatoes. Try and do this in one fell swoop. Ooh, okay. I have been given very clear instructions on how to make the perfect cup of tea. Tea goes in first, then comes the water. I am so nervous to get this wrong. You guys have no idea. We are letting it sit. I don't know how long it needs to sit in there. I think that was long enough. So I'm going to take the tea bag out. Now your boy has a few dairy issues. So we're going with some soy milk. I'm sorry. Ah! Too much? And now, for the main event, we're gonna add on the caviar. So, I have four different types. I've got no idea what they are. When I imagine caviar in my head, I imagine like the dark black type. So I think I'm gonna go for that. I've never had caviar before. I am like really interested by it, like as a concept. Like, can I, I can't, I, <laughs> Is this a good amount of caviar? Like, I don't know. It's like, it's it's in one of those jars, like what you get like jamming when you go to a hotel. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on my hand. Oh my God. Oh, if I'm this grossed out about it being on my hand, how am I gonna eat it? We have our lovely four different finger sandwiches. There's a salmon one, a prosciutto one, a rocket one, and a classic cucumber one. Um, we have our lovely desserts, which I am stoked about. I wish I could dive right in. And of course, our tea. I've never been sat in front of a plate of nachos and thought to myself, do I want to eat this? Do you know what I mean? Like that's quite an unusual feeling. I've also never been sat near a plate of nachos and thought there's an incredibly strong smell of fish. Mmm. Mmm. First ever time trying caviar and it's on nachos. Cheers. Oh, interesting. It's a very strong flavor. It is absolutely delicious. Um, I don't know if I was expecting prosciutto in afternoon tea. I'm not sure why. The texture isn't what I expected. I thought they were gonna be like jelly and they're actually like, they kind of like pop fishy water inside, but I'm gonna go again. Next we have a roasted red pepper, cheese and walnuts. I don't know if walnuts belong in a sandwich. The red pepper and the cheese is banging, but the walnut is just kind of weird, if I'm honest. This is the most American thing ever. 
like nachos, show some caviar on it, now it's fancy. Do you know what I mean? But honestly, oh my God, I kind of like it. It's good. I think I would change some things around in order to make my ideal sandwich. So the prosciutto uh, and the dill and some cheese from there. Then I'm gonna take the red pepper from that other sandwich, add on a bit more cheese. It wouldn't be afternoon tea without cucumber, so. They have missed a mark by not having this as one of the items. I'm sorry, this was so good. Okay, so it is time for the main lunchtime event. I've got to say, I am so, so pleased that Jeff picked this for me. I like sushi so much. Nelly is sat right by me again. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna try is the hot California roll. It looks like crab and avocado and then it's like battered. Oh my God, my mouth is salivating a lot. Oh, that is so good. It's honestly better than I expected it to be. Now what we've all really been waiting for, the desserts. Normally in America, I would just kind of like dig in, but we're at afternoon tea, darling. That is delicious. Really, really, really delicious. One of the other most popular types of sushi in the States and in California in particular is spicy tuna. Oh look, some of our little friends on there. Get our caramel slice bite so that's this guy. Oh my God. That is so rich and so flavorful. I was not expecting there to be like gooey caramel coming in into it. Well. Mm. Oh my God, okay, that is my favorite. This is definitely bougie. This is the most fish eggs I've had in like a half an hour space of time ever. Now, I know there is a debate over what goes first, the clotted cream or the jam. I am going to put an end to this debate right now. I'm going to start one with the clotted cream on the bottom, and then I'm gonna do the other one the other way. Let's get to the bottom of it. I'm torn, I actually understand both. I think I have an answer. Both good, but I think the cream going on first makes the most sense. Very happy to be helping out in this, um, in this science experiment. Right kids, it is dinner time. The food is here. We have got lobster risotto. Oh my God, there's like a full claw in there. Ah, beautiful. Beef Wellington has finally cooled. I chopped it with a serrated knife. The smell of truffle and mustard is like very, very, very strong. It's taken over my entire kitchen. Ooh, seafood. One thing I didn't expect is when I saw that it was lobster risotto from like an order restaurant, I did not think it would have full on like claws. Like that is so intense. Like look at that, look at it, look at it wiggle. Mm. It tastes really amazing. Um, I'm not normally a truffle fan, but there's like nice hints of it in this that tastes pretty good. And the like crusting of it really adds something nice to it. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, this is delicious. This is actually, I think, this is the nicest thing I've tried all day. I'm a big fan of how much the UK loves wrapping meat in like bread and crust. I do think it adds something. It's kind of, it's nice. It's a nice little addition. And I don't know what it is, but there's something, there is something about this kind of cut of beef and then with the truffle and how it's wrapped that just does feel a little bit more upscale than even just a steak. The flavor is pretty subtle. I'd almost go so far as to say it doesn't really taste like much at all. Regardless, I am gonna eat this whole bowl. Hello, Tom. It's nice to see you when I actually like you today. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Yesterday was amazing. Yeah, good, really fancy. I, it, was, it was a lot of fish for one day, a lot of seafood. That was the only slightly overwhelming thing, but generally it was all such like, quality, it was all very rich. Um, I'm dying to know, what was the coffee like? The coffee itself was great, like it tasted good. Um, I couldn't stop wrapping my head around the fact that it was poop coffee. <laughs> how was the, the caviar nachos? How, how was caviar in general? It, it was so weird. Like, although when you first say caviar nachos, it sounds ridiculous. It actually wasn't the craziest thing, so. I did like it. I don't think I've ever eaten so much seafood in one day, but I'm honestly not complaining. I, I did feel very fabulous. At the end of the day, Tom, you and I love a meal deal. Um, it was nice to, to feel bougie and fancy for a day. 
I don't know how much of that I would actually, like how much money I would actually spend on it myself. To be honest, I know we ate all of this expensive food, but the most important thing I learned from this experience is that I can poach a really good egg and that is worth more than money can buy.